This is Dr. Touch. Today I want to demonstrate how to set up uh, your Xcode with the credentials you get when you purchase a component from Dr. Touch's parts store because it seems there's quite a few people who don't know how to do that. Typically you will get an email like this that contains subversion uh, credentials. Uh, even though it's a HTTPS URL, uh, you're not supposed to uh, open this in Safari. It would look like this. And there's no way how you can properly download this, especially because uh, the Xcode project is in, in really reality a bundle and you see there's a directory here, so it gets all mangled if you try to download it manually. Um, rather, you're supposed to use these credentials to set up this repository in Xcode and I'll show you how this uh, works. You open Xcode, uh, you go to SCM repositories or rather configure SCM repositories because you want to, to create a new one. So plus, I call it DT augmented reality controller. Make sure that the system is subversion. Okay. So the URL you paste into URL. Now it fills out everything. Uh, you can use the user that's here. It's a read only user, so you don't have to worry about anything. And then the password, which for the sake of this demonstration, I'm entering by hand, but you can also just copy it from the email you get. And once you get the green light, basically you, you set up. So that's part one, setting up the repository itself. Part two, you go to repositories. Here's the augmented reality controller that we just set up. Uh, and you can see there's branches, tags, and trunk. Uh, branches, I hardly ever use. You would use that for experimental code. Tags, uh, I sometimes use if you make a, um, if you release a version um, that's basically a, a snapshot of the, the code for, for this version. Uh, and trunk is where the general development will happen. And this is what, what you want to select here. Now you have two, two options. You can either check out or export the directory. Export meaning it's just a, a simple file copy. Uh, so you get a snapshot, but you don't get any of the meta information uh, that Subversion needs to know if there are uh, newer files on the server. <coughs> Pardon. Uh, this is what Checkout does. Checkout uh, uh, creates the meta information on your local hard disk to know uh, which version of your file, um, uh, which which file is which version, and then it can compare that to the server. So what we do is we check it out. Um, we we go to a place where is a, a opportune uh, location to to make a no dt, sorry, uh, check out, make a new folder. <clears throat> we also call this dt augmented reality controller. And typically I want to, to preserve it as trunk so that I, I see on my hard disk that um, this actually came from a repository. And then Xcode actually asks me whether it wants to open the Xcode project. So we choose yes. And <clears throat> in this case, my Xcode was smart enough to also uh, make the link with, with the subversion. You can see that by uh, this column appearing here uh, and this, the symbol of, of the hard disk there's, is not crossed out. However, it might be that you don't get this column, so you can right click on here and enable SCM. And if this is still crossed out, you can go into project settings and sorry, it's project. Uh, oh. Was it uh, I thought it was project settings. Yeah, it is, uh, namely on the first tab. And there is a button configure routes and SCM. And if this is not set here, you just choose the uh, repository you just set up. Uh, that's why we call it this name. So we know this is the, the correct one. So sometimes it might look like this. You see an, an X here. Uh, so I go into project settings, set the root of, 
of the repository to be coming from my repo. And now I'm done. Now let me briefly show you uh, what you can do with that. This is just a read-only account, so you don't have to worry about changing anything. If you make modifications to the code um, and save it, you will re uh, get an M. That means it's locally modified. Uh, you can always right click on it and discard your changes because you can never push them uh, back to the repository. But what you can do is if there's an update of any of these files on the repository, there appears a U and then you can go SCM update entire project. And you, it's always safe to do that. What it will do is I will go to the server, check all the files. If you have the latest version, if not copy them over. And sometimes you would then get a dialogue asking, um, you have a, a newer, uh, there, there was also a new project file uh, downloaded. Uh, then you just uh, choose, yes, I want to open it from disk because uh, it, it, these project files uh, keep the, the uh, directory structure or the, rather the structure of the files and groups in this project. And, uh, if, if I add new files, you have to, to uh, basically load the new Xcode project file as well, because otherwise you wouldn't see them in here. And another thing you can always do, um, as, as I said, commit doesn't work because you have a read only account. Uh, if you refresh, uh, it will just go and check. So that's it. That's how you set up um, the uh, project for, for use um, in Xcode. Uh, please do that and don't try to uh, download it manually. Uh, I also don't recommend using extra um, repository browsing tools because what is built into Xcode works uh, flawlessly for me for uh, almost a year. And I'd like to uh, recommend it to you because it makes our life much easier. If I do updates to, to my source code, this way you can get them easily. Okay, that's it for my demonstration of how to set up uh, a Dr. Touches Part Store component repository in your Xcode.